in Pittsburgh. First time they ever put a tarpaulin on the field. Uh oh. And that Bad absolutely blood. was. Well, oh, that absolutely was. Now right, here comes Bill Miller in from first base, and the benches are clearing. Here we go. Park got one up and in. Well, what Jose wants to do is drop the bat. That's the first thing. Is that something that can get you suspended? Daryl Boston over there with him. Abreu is not pleased. Frazier's in there. There's Greg Sparks, Scott Carroll on the outskirts. A hitter absolutely knows when he's going to get hit. And although May looks away, you see the reaction of the Sox dugout immediately, and now they're going to be separated. So Park got one up and in. Yeah. In the top of this inning, he was hit by a pitch. Abreu gets plugged in the side. This is game one of a three game series. It's also two teams that have two series each against one another, both home and away, remaining after this series. So we probably haven't seen the last of this. The bullpens are being sent back to their respective areas. And remember, you don't have to, you don't have to. Issue a warning if in the mind of the umpires. Now he's issuing a warning now, but if in the mind of an umpire he thinks that the pitcher has thrown at a hitter, he can eject him without any warnings being issued. Reading Robin's lips, he said, You heard him say it. So there was something said. And watch the reaction by May. That is not shock. And remember, Jose in all of this is not a heavy English speaker. So the discussion coming from the umpire, don't know exactly how it's working. And Robin Ventura has been thrown out of this ball game. Well, I think Robin has a pretty good case to make because if any of the umpires on the field don't believe that that was a perfect purpose pitch by Trevor May, I would be surprised. Robin Ventura is fighting for his guys right now. The central one being Jose Abreu who got hit in the ribs. The next half inning after Park got one up and in. You think. There is a lot of evidence suggesting intent there. I would think so and of course you never can read into a pitcher's mind the intent but. For Nate Jones. In a 10 to 4 game, there would be no reason to buzz Park up and in like that. That one, I truly believe, got away. This one, however, didn't appear to get away. Again, you can't read intention, it's what it appeared to be.